welcome to Taste Test back in the United States. Woohoo! Yay! This will not be as good as our Egyptian food. You never know. <laughs> we all know it'll be much better than the last American Taste Test we had. Okay, so I had to redeem myself with bagels, something I know you like and I know Mabel can eat because the last Taste Test at home was not so hot. Let's just call it what it was. Disaster. <laughs> Horrible. Okay, well, we all know I love a good bagel. What's your favorite bagel? Uh, uh, six cheese or an Asiago bagel. Uh, and I even like everything bagels and stuff like that. There's not many I don't like. Yeah. Your mother's favorite is the green bagel, which is the spinach and that I've never eaten. Yeah, I've never eaten that either. Um, I, like I think my favorite is probably the same. Everything and then a cheese bagel, which is what I got mostly today. I do have one plain. Um, we all know... The best bagels come fresh from the store. Einstein's, Panera, Bagel Bin in Omaha is my personal favorite. Mm. What's your favorite bagel place? Yeah, probably Bagel Bin was. Yeah. Was. Now it's just Einstein where we go to. Yeah, because it's close. But these will not compare to that. <laughs> Maple's ready. Oh. oh, you're such a good girl. Yes, you can eat. So for today, we toasted all the bagels and put butter on them. Uh, we thought about leaving them plain, but who eats a plain bagel? Nobody. All right, to start, I will. we're starting from the fewest calories to the highest calorie ones. Yesterday's post, I talked about, you can go ahead and try, um, the difference in serving sizes. So these vary extremely different. This first one's 140 calories, and the last one's over 300. So always, always, always look at how many calories per serving if you are trying to watch your calorie count. How does it taste? Pretty good. Is that like a sourdough bagel? It is. Yeah, that's really interesting. So this one is super interesting. It's The brand is Cristal. Oh, uh, I got, Cristal <laughs> for yeah, I got it right. from Sprouts, but it, it's advertised as a bagel bun. Not just a bagel, but a bun. Does it taste different than a normal bagel? It yeah, feels it like, much it, it, lighter. It is. It's, it's like sourdough bread. It really is. Mm. Very light. Almost like an um, English muffin. Almost like, like an English muffin, yes. Kind of looks like one, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's good. Uh, again, at Sprout, I did like the macros on this one the best as well. 140 calories, 27 grams of fat, 6 grams of protein. So, easily added into any sort of diet. But good. I like that. And I, I, like how, I like how light it was, too. Very nice. I would eat that. We are not throwing those away for keep that. All right, so far it's looking good. I know you're not gonna like the next one, but give it a try. We always have to try a gluten-free variety. If you have a gluten-free bagel that you like, let us know, but this is the Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free bagel. We've tried the gluten-free breads before. We know the, the taste is gonna be different, but it is gluten-free if you're trying to have a gluten-free diet. A lot more calories on this, 100 more calories. So 250 calories for this bagel and 50 carbs and four grams of protein. Not good. It's not? No, it's too bad because, um, I mean, it's just really dense like most, you know, uh, are that are gluten-free, but the, mm. the bread, it's the it's the cover. Your taste in this part mm -hmm. of it is horrible. I don't want to finish that. Yeah. I mean, even mm -hmm. if you had, even if you had, um, a uh, schmear on that. Um, I'm sorry, what? I call it a schmear. <laughs> like the cream cheese. That's like, I can't think of it. Uh, not helping it out because the bread is, mm. it's real. I mean, we've had. It tastes like the gluten free bread. But we've had gluten free though. bread. I've eaten that with sandwiches. I'm okay with it. That just is weird. It had a weird texture to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, didn't, didn't love it. No, did not love it. Okay. Mabel is liking. Whatever bagel. <laughs> All right. Okay, next up, Dave's Killer Bread. We've tried Dave's Killer Bread before, but never the bagels. Uh, this is... I don't think we liked Dave's Killer Bread we didn't. before. Yeah. We didn't really like it, but the bagel looked interesting. 260 calories, 44 carbs, 13 grams of protein. That's pretty good for a bagel. If you added like an egg or two eggs on top of that, um, or any other sort of protein, you're getting a good amount of protein with this bagel. So let's let's see how it tastes. Very bland for an everything bagel. Really? Yeah. I mean, it looks. It looks like it, it has looks everything like it on has, there. Yeah. And that's not where your calories are coming from for all the stuff on the everything. 
and it does not taste like that at all. It's very bland for... Mm, try another bite, because I just got a big... I got a good flavor. I mean, I'm thinking of everything bagel. Like, it, it, it's something that I mean, you're going to have 8,000 flavors in your mouth. I got one that has... I have... I, mine has flavor. Oh, there's flavor, but not in everything bagel. Okay. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's... Damn. Hmm. I don't mind it. It's all right. Um... It wouldn't be my go-to for everything bagels. For store-bought, though? I mean, I'm not talking about comparing it to, like, Einstein. We'll check out Thomas right here next. Okay, Thomas. We have the Thomas brand next. This is popular. You can find it in every single grocery store possible. They do muffins, too, right? Yeah, they do muffins. That's your muffins, your main muffins. Yeah, right? English muffins. Yeah. Um, so these are the Thomas everything bagels. Two, we're getting higher now, 290 calories. 53 carbs and nine grams of protein. So fewer grams of protein per bagel, but 10 more calories. Um, the ingredients, first ingredient is enriched wheat flour, uh, barley flour. It has a taste better much, than Much it. more flavor to it. Really? Well, the bread does. Okay. And I'm betting the bread has more sugar in it. Oh, well, yeah. That's, you think the Thomas brand has more sugar? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the sugar mm. I'm tasting in the bread. Oh yeah, that tastes way more like an everything bagel. All right, so Dave's Killer has four sugars per bagel, and Thomas has six. So not, not that bad. much more. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hmm. Just a better tasting, all around better tasting. Bagel. Yeah, better tasting, better texture. Mm. Told you. But if you want more protein. This has it. All right. Um, and I would say the textures are all different, too, for each one of these bagels. The yep. texture is very different. Some are heavier, some are lighter. Thomas was even light. Yeah, it, it's it was. It's lighter than that one was. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this one I'm nervous about because it was really hard to cut, and it I, I don't know. Um, we'll see. I've never heard of this brand before. They had it at Sprouts. Original Bagel. Um, the patient baker, yeah, patient bakers. So this is what it looks like. This is the Asiago version. More calories, 310 calories, 59 carbs, 12 grams of protein. So again, comparable to Dave's killer bread for the amount of protein. Um, again, I was just nervous about the consistency of it. Very dense. Yeah, you, you could tell cutting Very dry. It. No, I mean, I don't, no I don't, Asiago flavor? I don't even taste the cheese. No. I don't know. No. I'm not tasting it at all. No, that's not that's not mm. good. Mm-mm. Not great. No, that's not a good bagel at all. Mm. Mm. Alright, how would you rank them? New York style bagel. Right. Doesn't taste like that at all. Um I'd actually put Cristal first. I'd put Thomas oh. second. Okay. I'd put Dave's third or yeah, Dave's probably third, then New York style, yeah. and then the gluten. I agree with you on this one. Mm -hmm. um, again, carbs aren't bad in your diet. These all have a fair amount of carbs, but carbs aren't bad. I would recommend adding them, adding a protein and a fat to it so you're getting a balanced meal. I, unless you're our son who doesn't like anything but butter. <laughs> but you're just getting an all-carb meal. Um, but it, it don't... Put bagels in a bad food. There's no such thing as a bad food. You just want to balance your meals out. And I'm gonna remember that when we go to the restaurant. There's no such thing as bad food. It's so all about order, moderation. So when I order, maybe. Um, also, this made me think about the flagel. Remember the flagel? We saw that in Florida. Have you guys ever tried a flagel? Oh, yeah. The flat bagel? I have not tried that. I, I looked for it, but couldn't find it here. I'm seeing a lot of it all over uh, social media. Yeah. Kind of coming. Yeah, that's kind of coming out. All right, if you see a flagel, let us know where, if you're local to Kansas City, or order it and just ship it to us so we can try the flagel. Or we're just going to say flagel a few more times, <laughs> and our phone's going to understand that, and it's going to start advertising to us for Ooh, a flagel. Flagel, flagel. Yep. <laughs> All right, you're going to be mad, because when I was shopping at Sprouts, I found next week's taste test. Why are we shopping at Sprouts, <laughs> period? Like it. But it's interesting. i got to try these things. Hopefully, my mom will be back in town. She can try it and you're off the hook. But otherwise, um, I'm just going to go out the limits. So you're not going to like it. What is it? Oh, you'll just have to wait and find yeah. out. Okay. All right. 
Let us know where your favorite totally. bagel's from, what, what your favorite brand is. Who's not excited for next weekend now? <laughs> we'll see you next week. Right, Mabel? Bye-bye.